Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. So, let's go ahead and do that side route now, which really isn't a side route, I guess you could say it's more like the main route of progress. And as you see, it's a pretty large area. That's <laughs> why so I saved it. So, yeah, what would you like to- oh, it's a prize board, okay. <laughs> I think this is Goron, yeah. Goron iron we mine here in this village is famous for its strength, but it does have one weakness, lava. Yes, even they can't build a metal that is resistant to lava, but can they build resistance to larvae? Maybe. Maybe. Anyway, <laughs> so this seems inaccessible. Or is it? You can duck in the corners when there's a wide enough gap. And there you go, ho ho ho, magma bombs, oh man, there's actually fire, can you believe it? I can't believe it, that's just crazy, oh, uh oh, oh, uh oh, oh, <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> okay, I need a bigger gap, bigger gap, there we go, 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 <laughs> that's gonna bounce off, there we go, not too shabby, and I think I have the wrong item out, I think I do, yeah, I see some whip targets over there. <laughs> but I believe that's time to, so I gotta go, 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 go. <laughs> so, wait, that's about right, yes, yes. And go. Uh oh, that's not, that's not gonna work. <laughs> okay, hold on. Hold on, we got this. We know how to set a bomb. Actually, that's probably not the intended solution, because you may not still have... I mean, you may still not have bombs at this point in the game. So let's try something a little bit more swifter. Like, let's just run for it. <laughs> like, just to see if it's possible. Tap, tap, tap. Go, 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 the red noses fort. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> um, this is the way back down. Yep. <laughs> and the other stuff, I, mm, eh, mm, eh, I, uh, mm, I don't know. I think I'll save for later because I think I think I'm gonna have to come back for that. Actually, oh, I think we have met, or at least found the elder. <laughs> well, maybe. Now we've met him. Hmm. Who is the strange face before me? This is a sacred place of Gorons. You cannot just come here on a whim. Hmm, I see you are still a child. Tell me, did you travel here by yourself? I must salute your bravery, young stranger. Tell me, is there something you wish to discuss? Nah. If you have nothing to discuss, then go home. This place is forbidden to outsiders. Actually, yes, I forgot. I do have something to discuss. <laughs> and then the story is told between a black screen transition. You wish to hear about the fire sanctuary. Unfortunately, the way there is hidden to us. Only the elder... Okay, so you're not the elder. Dang it. Would be able to tell you that secret. Do you wish to meet him? Eh, no. What? Why do you insist on asking all these questions? Move along. <laughs> Uh, yes, I would. Good, good. Nice to see young people at some spine. The elder is in the village, and there's a way to get there. But first, you are an engineer, are you not? Eh, why? Maybe I should have said no, actually. Those who drive trains have a special aura about them. I can see it on you. But moving on. <clears throat> Your train may come in handy. But let us descend the mountain so we can speak in peace. I have some work to do first, so I will meet you down there. You go ahead and get your train ready. Okay, so somehow he gets ahead of us on the, the route back somehow, some way. And you know what? I think I will actually go check to see if I can cross that area with that uh, whippy s spot over there. So I'm going to do a little roundabout here. But you can, well, actually maybe I can't do it here. Uh, well, actually first, too. Let's go down this way. I thought there was... No, I thought there was a treasure chest thingajigger hidden around these parts, but I guess not. At, at least not over here. But I think when, you, when you're able to walk around, like, up here, you're able to grab another chest, if I recall correctly. But let's just see. Woo! Yeah, I'm exploring all day and all night! Wait, is this a Song of Discovery spot? It actually might be. 
That just looks like because there's two boulders placed next to each other. Nah, I guess not. <laughs> it was worth a try. Okay, so obviously if you want to go back, you just jump off of that ledge normally. But I'm, I, as I said, I'm gonna go ahead and check out the uh, <laughs> check out the uh, uh, other uh, whippy spot. So if you don't mind, I'm just gonna go ahead. There we go. Now this is a kind of like the junction spot that I passed by before, because you'll see that there's this here. But yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure if you can actually do any. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I'm, I'm not sure you can really do anything there. <laughs> that is exactly what I thought, actually. Unless I'm thinking of, well, hmm, can I like, can I like whip you on the way down? I don't think, I, I don't believe I can. Uh, well, maybe I can. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think this is, this is inaccessible at this, at this moment in time, but that's okay. <laughs> That is okay. We can we can always come back to that later. Yeah, so that was kind of <laughs> kind of a waste on my part. But it's not that hard to get back or anything to this route anyway, because it's you're going with the flow of the boulders instead of the oh I didn't get that treasure chest. Oh I guess I do have to go back around. Hold on! <laughs> not poopers. Well, <laughs> anyway, I'm back over here, and thusly, now I can go ahead and hop down that one ledge that'll lead to a treasure chest, so it was over here, which means we got it! Woo! Try another one? Okay. Uh, I don't know about this ledge, though. I don't think that there is anything important on this particular one. I'll just follow along the edge here. Nah, I didn't think so. Okay. Okay, so that, yeah, it, it's kind of a long route. <laughs> All right, so now that the, the not-so-elder met us back over here, there's going to be some new stuff. Kagoron, why have you left the altar? Okay, you didn't beat us back. <laughs> I was thinking of giving a freight car to this child, and I need your help. This freight car unlocks a lot of side quests too. If you say so, Kagoron, then I have no complaints. And and I say it, 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 it's it, they'll it, it, they'll get it there eventually. <laughs> I think this is overly long, actually. Oops, but it does perfectly match our train, so maybe what they were doing was they were painting it and getting it all spiffed up and cleaned and all set to go for our train. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Uh, but th it doesn't explain their walking speed, though. Dang it, move faster! <laughs> and it just clicks in place somehow. No sort of bolt or anything over there, I, I suppose. <laughs> This is the favor I require of you, young stranger. Use the freight car to bring back something cold enough to cool the lava. Go talk to the merchants in various villages. They may be able to help you. And I know exactly what village we could go to. Uh, oh, it actually was different dialogue. Use that freight car to bring something that can cool down the lava. Try visiting different towns and talking with the merchants. I wonder what they meant by something cold. I've never seen anything like that before. <laughs> Is that your train? It is looking good! Yeah, I know, that new car! Even we Gohans cannot defeat the lava. I'm afraid we are not much use. Mm. Eh, that's okay, I'm sure I can pull something off here. Zelda, Zelda, there you go. <laughs> something cold, hmm? Alright, I know how to get something cold! Right! Please drive safely! So, to the Anuki village we go, which means... All the way through there. <laughs> oh, 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 we got something new going on here. Yeah, there's tanks now. So, yeah, to fight them off, it's a whole lot like the pirate ships. Yeah, you just fire at them and fire at their bullets to stop their shots and stuff like that. And yeah, so anytime that you're in some sort of open plane like that, there could be some tanks hanging out there doing some. Mario Kart style drifting of sorts, but this time, this time, well, they didn't pose much of a threat. You know, I should actually go and, uh, eh, 
I should actually go and finally get a membership to Beatles. <laughs> as long as this is uh, kind of working its way to set up here, you know, to get yourself together and yeah, I might as well and stuff. I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> All I know is here we are. Beetle, my man! <laughs> Whoa, valued customer! We have everything you need at Beetle's Air Store! Uh, let's, what's the cheapest I can, <laughs> I can buy? Oh, geez. The cheapest? Oh, man. How about palms? That's 100. <laughs> That's still 100. It's probably more. Yeah. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> uh. I just want to basically trigger his um, membership thing. Oh, I see you haven't joined Beatles Membership Club. There are a lot of great people. We've seen this before, sure. All right, so <laughs> we basically need to spend five thousand rupees to get that heart piece. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna. It'll take a while unless I, unless I do some special off-camera treasure grinding probably maybe might be at a certain place that I can get a whole bunch of regal rings for that so yeah don't, don't, just don't don't worry about that for now we've got we've got plenty of heart containers <laughs> all right Nuki village oh oh that's actually oh we're <laughs> Because <laughs> he went down this road, we kind of turned the road. I guess if I would have went straight rather than just turned down here, I, I would have gotten maybe a little bit more speed, but I don't know about that because I would have ended up stopping there and then having to accelerate to come back through here anyway, so who knows? <laughs> so now I'm using forward as the brake. That. See, you gotta. Oop! See, you gotta be within that barrier. There you go. <laughs> Perfect! <laughs> Alright, so the person- oh, I still got all the- Don't tell me it's already here, that's impossible! <laughs> that would be- that would be ridiculous. Hey, hey, howdy, mister! I got a letter and a package for- No! There's something strange going on here. Beatles membership cup really has a lot to offer, doesn't it? I thought about becoming a member, but I'm so busy with my job and all. I don't really have much time for shopping and stuff like that. Oh yeah, here's your letter. But you could get a heart container. Yo! Woo! Oh, and I have this for you. I what? You have some what? Here you go. Oh! Oh! That's, why? That wasn't inside his. Are you opening my letters again? <sighs> okay, I've delivered your mail safely to you. Well, my work seems to be done here, so I'll be off. See you around! Jugga, 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 choo choo! Okay, fine. Let's go to the collection. Here's our Beetle membership club. Yup, yup, yup. But let's go. To oh, why did I click on that? Why did I? Oh, yeah, that actually is an interesting point that I could show you here. I don't have 10 yet, but you can see uh, different locations where they're marked off on here. That's why I didn't have a little check. I mean, like a little uh, counter thing on the side, because I think that thing is far more useful than anything. Thank you for joining the Beatles Members Club. Please take a look at the club rules below. Earn a point for every 10 rupees you spend. Get a silver card for 200 points. A gold card for 500 points. And a platinum card for 1,000 points. At 2,000 points, you get a diamond card. Every time your status improves, you get a bonus gift. But remember, you can't use the cards at other stores. These shops are for Beatles shops only. Finally, remember that shopping is most enjoyable when it's done responsibly. <laughs> keep keep to those simple rules and we'll both be happy. See you soon, Beetle! Okay, so... <laughs> now, the person that we're looking for is... Well, not you, but I guess I could talk to you. I know we got, don't got any lumber around these parts. We don't really got anyone to build know-how... I mean, with the know-how to build a fence. So, this is the year bring up both, both the lumber and hand, handyman. They'd be a dearly grateful guy! Uh, so, we need to get... The bridge builder guy and we need to go back to Whittleton to get some lumber. That's for a different side quest, but we're not going to do that right now. See, you got yourself a passenger car now. It's fate, I tell ya. What's that? You say you've had it for a while? Well, that's news to me. Not really. Think you can give me a lift to a cold, clear spring? Um, why? Why you ask? Well, listen to this crazy story. You know how we sell mega ice here? Yeah, it's our village's major exports. Well, a little while ago, ice choo choo fell in the water. And ever since then, there's been a gooey film floating on the surface. It's revolting. If you made mega ice out of this water, our customers would never come back. 
So please, just gotta take me to a lake or some other body of water. And it's gotta be in a cold place, because you can't make ice without the cold. Well, you're gonna take me, aren't you? No. Oh, okay, I'll take you. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> Thank you kindly. I have you one guy. Okay, I'll be waiting for you on the train. And so it <clears throat> he waddles on over there. Did you guys fall in the water? You mm, 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 just ruining the economy of the village. Okay, so now we got a passenger. I am ready to go. So you know when we have a passenger, we've got to drive safely. Well. Safe enough to make them happy, at least. Our objective is going to be this place, the Wellspring Station. Yeah, I, I'm not really sure that that's entirely intuitive, but it might be because it's the only place you've seen that has, like, you know, water. So, and it's, you know, it's a Wellspring, so... <laughs> yeah. Hey, Anders, there's no demon trains on the tracks whatsoever? Really? I guess maybe they've decided to replace themselves with, with tanks. The tanks are, uh... The tanks are doing well enough, they said, to hinder my progress. So they decide, eh, eh, yeah, they, they, can, they can pull this off, no problem. Alright, so now that they, they're done distracting me, I can pay attention to the signs that keep my passenger happy. I suppose, maybe, might be. <laughs> Hopefully, well... We'll see. Actually, there's not really all that many signs and stuff like that to obey along the way. In fact, I could just blow up things for the most part, as this is a pretty linear path. Well, I kind of wonder, if I were, what if I were to blow up a sign as I'm going to be nearing it? Would the passenger know that we are supposed to blow our whistle at a certain sign or slow down at a certain sign, maybe? Who knows? Who knows? That might be a worthy experiment. <laughs> But I don't think there's any any sort of thing at that, I mean, at this particular toting mission, I guess you could say. Oh, you disappeared before I could get the prize out of you. Oh, you maybe, or maybe you teleported. <laughs> Just went straight. Oh, what? Holy poopers, scoopers, the three of them at once? What in the holy name of mercy is okay? <laughs> All right, we're good, I suppose. Uh, we should probably try and keep them a little bit happier. Maybe, might be, so let's just kind of start slowing down now. And... Stop. There we go. <laughs> nice, nice, easy stop. And didn't go past the marker. Oh, that place, that look like a nice place for my guys over there! And so he goes. And thus, so I go to... Make sure you have like 20 rupees, I think it is. He's like, oh, well, yeah, this is the prime spot for making Meg Ice or what? Yep, this is it. I'm gonna start out the business right here, guy. And we get a forest jam. Yep, numero two. Woo! So it's, I guess you could say, a mandatory side quest. I've got a whole bunch of tracks there to doodle on the mark that I've got something to check over there. This force gem has energized the real map, new tracks have appeared! Okay, it's time to make the Mega Ice! Sorry, but could you come back in a little bit? There are certain company secrets I don't want to reveal to the public, and... Yeah... So as long as we're here, we might as well side quest. <laughs> it won't take that long here, actually. So there's a stamp station over there we can now get to because we have the boomerangs. See, there's a lot of those ice torch thingies. But over here is a big green rupee. And now, let's get our boomerang. And let's get a doodlin. I think, is that close enough to that edge? I hope so. That, that'll probably do... Yes! <laughs> Hello, stamp station. Yep. Voila! <laughs> Alright, now, um, you, you don't, like, you can't actually just wait out here for him to do the ice. You've actually got to go in somewhere or leave the area. So I'm going to go in here and holy poopers, there's a whole lot of directions. Rule run of the rails. If you see a whistle sign, pull your train whistle before you pass the sign and pull some, put some real feeling into it. Yeah, remember, this is the, the train enthusiast guy. And so if you never knew how to read these, just 
like via intuitively like I, I showed you how to do you could come here and read them as well that will do just fine <laughs> No need to make them panic. So that's why they hate when you go past that bullseye sign. And do not, do not break suddenly. <laughs> yeah, that is true. And this last one is about those arches. So we already read that one before. All right. So now that we got those bits of tutorial out of the way, look at that the Mega Ice is made. Hey guys, how about that slick little freight car you got? Why not load it up with some of our fine local Mega Ice? How about it? Ladies, go wild for it and I'll even cut you a special deal! That is 20, okay, it's 25, not... Okay, sure. Devilish <laughs> Ledger doing business with you, with you. Let me know if you ever need more, and we are gonna need more, actually. Oh, and I'll even load up your freight car for you. How's that for service? Now's a good time to let you know some things about handling the product. First, don't hit anything or let the train sway when the ice is loaded on. I have, I've never noticed any issue with the train swaying and making ice spilled anywhere, but if you do bump into stuff, you lose ice. Also, watch out for monster attacks. Second, you're carrying ice, pal, so naturally it's gonna melt, yeah? In nice chilly places like this, you won't have to worry though. Once you travel to warmer places, it'll start melting before long. Get to where you're going before all ice runs out. If you don't, be prepared to say bye bye to all the ice. So that is going to be a trip that I am going to do in the next part. So I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when we do something that's not quite as straightforward as it sounds. Okay, it's probably not going to be that straightforward as you, you probably heard, but well, maybe I'm, uh, mm, uh, well, you'll see. <laughs> I don't want to spoil it. Toodaloo!